Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mark here, and today I got something kind of special. I got a cut gameplay here from theater mode, um, just cut out the uh, parts I w wasn't really getting kills or anything like that to make it more interesting, but I got a bro ab with my boy Cherry, so shout out to you, and Violet, if you're watching this, I'm laughing at you because you didn't get the bro ab with me, but anyways, yeah, shout out to Cherries, and yeah, so what I pretty much did in this gameplay was hang out, hang out by sea, and kind of, not necessarily camp, but I was guarding quotations. Um, yeah, the BG-36 is a, is a very underrated gun, in my opinion. It's very good, um, except for the silencer. I do not recommend slapping the silencer on there. Red dot and kick, definitely. Uh, extended mags and red dot if you have it. But anyways, um, in this game, I, I want to talk about a little bit about some of the advanced warfare. Not the game, but something cool that is over on T-Mars channel. And right now, I can tell that it's jumping a little bit, but I can't fix it because that's in theater mode. And sorry for that happening, but um, either way, it's still a bro app and everything like that. So, um, uh, Sledgehammer, I was about to say Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer has partnered up with Mountain Dew and Doritos. Like, if you remember MW3, they had Mountain Dew and Dorito promo where if you bought Doritos and a Mountain Dew, you had special codes that you can go and put in on their website linked to your PSN account. And when the game launched, you had double XP from the um, Doritos and Mountain Dew and stuff like that, from whatever you bought. Um, but this Advanced Warfare promo is going to be slightly different, or not slightly different, but a lot different, okay? So it's like nothing we we haven't really ever experienced because now instead of just the double XP and weapon XP, I guess in the theory of weapon XP as well, but... Um, uh, they're adding some new stuff in so with the um you're going to be able to unlock certain gears such as helmets goggles boots exosuits and stuff like that from the certain products you buy now um i got all this information from watching t martin's video so i'm going to give him credit um for that but i don't know exactly what is what i didn't write it down i guess i should have but certain items are going to get you certain unlocks. And with all these unlocks, um, once you unlock them all, they're, they're, going to, they're trying to make you spend your money. But in my opinion, it's going to be cool to see how that plays out. And, okay, so uh, back to what I was saying. Um, when you unlock them all, when you uh, buy all the certain products and you get the goggles and the boots and everything unlocked, you get a special calling card for Advanced Warfare. And that's pretty cool, but um, like the bottles and the smaller bags of Doritos are going to count towards 15 minutes of double XP. And like the 24 packs and the like larger sizes of Dorito bags are going to count towards 45 minutes of double XP. But it is not just double XP, and let me explain. There's going to be, I think it's called random supply drops, and they... Um, that time is going to alternate, so 15 minutes is, is going to come from the single bottles and the smaller packs of Doritos, like I said. But when you put in the codes, let's say one code is, they're both 15 minutes code. You put in one code, one code is going to be double XP. Then the next time is going to be random supply drop time, or what, whatever that is. Um, so it's going to alternate every time you put in the code. And the max time you can have on those to um, double XP and random supply is up to 12 hours a piece, which in my opinion is good because then people aren't just out spending hundreds of dollars uh, spending on Doritos and Mountain Dew. And 12 uh, hours of XP, and I don't know what random supply is, but that is a decent amount of time. You could probably prestige uh, twice fairly quickly with that amount of time. Or, or even once if you're not that uh, skilled of a player, but yeah, that's pretty much all the info I had today. I'm definitely going to buy a few things of Double XP. I don't know if I'm going to go all out and spend a lot of money, but I'll definitely see what the random supply is all about, and I definitely want to get um, the cool calling sign. And here I had to record in third person mode because apparently in MW3 you could not... Uh, uh, see first person from his point of view. But anyways, there is his Moab and right after my Moab. So it was pretty cool. It was pretty fun. Another Moab, of course. And um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy the information. If you want more information, please let me know. Go check out tomorrow's channel. As always, peace out.